this been here the whole time? The poof? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Prepare yourselves for a new form of extraterrestrial terror. Just when you thought the world couldn't get weirder, experience the incredible tale of how humans lost planet Earth. Young lovers, a week in the country, a thrilling story of survival. From outer space, they arrive. They're furry, ugly, deadly. Oh, my God. Poofs with an insatiable thirst for world domination. I guess I don't really know what a poof is. What? It's like an ottoman, like a furry footstool. Okay, yeah, I thought maybe it was more like a decorative poof. What's a decorative poof? What do you mean? Yeah, that's, I, don't, I do not know. Hi, guys. Oh, my Lord. I love this movie so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. So much. Okay, first thing I want to ask you is, well, every time they said poof, I laughed. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you, was it inspired by The Thing and Tribbles? Let me just ask that. <laughs> For sure. I mean, all of, yeah. I mean, Tribbles. Eleanor hadn't actually seen uh, the Tribbles episode of Star Trek. Um, I had, but Eleanor originally came up with the design of the poof, so it was kind of like a just a coincidence. I think it was in my deep subconscious somewhere. Deep subconscious, yeah. <laughs> but critters, you know, critters is around. You know, uh, there's there's a lot of stuff, and we, yeah, we wanted it to feel like a classic monster movie, you know. Yeah, but, I think that in a uh, this... soft way. Yeah, <laughs> right, like a exactly. cute little guy that you don't expect to be killing people. Yeah. <laughs> so I take it you probably came up with this idea, you know, when you were tired of your, you know, your cell phone. <laughs> is, that, is that correct? Is that how this Genesis Yeah, sort of. Happened? I wouldn't say tired of my cell phone. I, I guess I'm like <laughs> a little more like Sue's character in that I'm, I'm quite addicted to it. But it was really yeah. just from a fear of like what, what can happen when you're disconnected. Um, and, you know, I, we, we sort of thought it was funny to just think, well, what if it, the world really was ending and you didn't know about it? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's, it is, it's just, it's fantastic. And it's, you know, again, it kind of takes, takes on some, some things you've seen before, but at the same time, completely unique and fresh. Uh, tell me about working with, with the two, uh, the two Which, leads there. I loved them so much. I didn't get a chance yeah. to talk to them, but yeah, they, I loved them. They're awesome. John and Samitha are incredible and they are two of the funniest people we know. And uh, <laughs> they're just like so real as these characters, they feel like a real couple and the whole thing came alive when when when, when with, we cast them. Yeah, when we cast them. Yeah, they um they luckily they they know each other, which is really nice. It's a huge gift to mm -hmm. um that they have this sort of shorthand already together and um and but yeah they they just we, we feel very proud of ourselves yeah. for casting them. I guess <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it worked out. As as a filmmaker, I think that's probably a big part of, you know, yeah. what you do Huge. when you put a movie together is, is finding, you know, if you hit gold with your cast. It's just yes. Like Especially this movie, because it's all them. They're in every scene. And, you know, it was really going to live or die on the, the actors. And yeah. you know, we think they did a great job. They killed yeah. it. <laughs> what was some of the challenges that you faced in making this, like in the outdoors and whatnot? Oh, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of ticks upstate. Yeah. Everyone I got, was sort of freaked got, out about ticks. We both got bit by ticks. I got Lyme disease. Well, <laughs> no, you didn't. I, I mean, he, he took antibiotics yeah. and we think he's fine. It was the short term kind. Yeah. 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 But I mean, he had he had the tick bite with the ring around it. Everyone was yeah. very scared of ticks. But, yeah, John um, especially was terrified of ticks. <laughs> he had some weird spider bite one night and then he forced our uh, line producer. He forced. He, he was like, asked. I got to go to the hospital. <laughs> he went to the hospital. And they were like, you're fine. Go he, home. he would tell you this story, too. We're not, yeah. we're not outing him as a monster. It yeah. was a funny story. But um, yeah, I mean, there was all kinds of challenges. Weather, obviously, when you're outdoors a lot is always a thing. Um, luckily, you know, we were thought that the problem with weather was going to be that it was going to be too hot, but it wasn't. It wasn't so hot. It was mostly just raining a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, and different the script challenge. had no raining. Yeah. <laughs> and if you watch the movie, no rain. Yeah, we managed to. <laughs> it rained almost just, every day. Just yeah. wild. pull it off. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, so you're you're laughing, you know, and while also kind of being horrified through this whole thing. But then that I don't want to give anything away, but we can just sort of talk in general terms of the yeah. ending. I mean, what mm -hmm. was your, uh, what, what do you hope people will take away from that ending? Yeah, well, 
you go it's ahead. well it's really it is a fun ending and it was really fun sort of when we first got to see the movie with audiences to see what people do take away from it because some people will come to you and say like oh I was just so relieved that it was a happy ending and we're <laughs> like oh <laughs> was it um but you know I think it is it is deliberately ambiguous in that way um I think one yeah. thing that we can say that um that was like an inspiration for the ending was the end of the graduate um, I think that doesn't give away too much, but, you know, definitely that sort of like feeling of excitement and the rush. And then all of a sudden the sort of the reality of the future sinking in and this sort of feeling of, yeah. of the unknown and, and what's, what's to come. Yeah. yeah. It's like the what now kind of thing. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like the end of the candidate as, as well. I just, I'll never forget that right. last line is like, what now? You know? What now? Yeah. <laughs> But I, I, I felt very hopeful for it in a kind of, you know, weird sort of new mm -hmm. civilization kind of way. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It might be the best we can hope for. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, you guys, this was I, honestly one of my faves that I've watched in a, in a while now since I've been quarantined at home watching everything on my computer. That's so nice. Uh, yeah. Congrats yeah. on this and uh, definitely I'll spread the word. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's great to, great to meet you. Uh, you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. They will soon be invading theaters and homes all over America. When they arrive, would you wait to be rescued or would you save yourselves? What was that? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep going. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay.